Welcome, I am Ignacio Fernandez Llorente, professional polo umpire. In this video series, I will explain the rules of polo as presented by the Hurling and Polo Association, usually called the HPA. In each of these videos, I offer a good amount of selected examples of actual fouls to those rules on the field. With these examples, you can learn the equivalent of more than 20 years of polo. So I recommend you watch them carefully, as I believe they show many interesting details that will positively improve your game. In this video, we shall discuss the lob or line of the ball and the row or right of way. 32. Line of the ball. Lob. The lob is taken as the extended path along which the ball has traveled or is traveling. The line of the ball is what will guide all players and lets them know what they are allowed or not to do on the field. Each shot generates a new line unless it is following a previous shot on exactly the same direction. Consider the path the ball has here. This is the line of the ball. Always be aware of which is the last line. It is which counts the most. The line of the ball or lob is extremely important, even more than the path of the horses. The path of the ball is a dividing line, leaving players either on one side or the other. Crossing it must be done with caution. If a player misses an out of play or dead ball, the lob is taken as that which the player was riding. And when there is apparently no line because the player starting the play misses his shot, as in this case, the line is the path of his horse. Only in this case will the path of a horse determine the lob. So, player in red misses his shot, and a line is established by the path of his horse. A player in light blue comes from the opposite direction, still following the correct path, but a player in red comes across him, fouled by red. 32b. Right of way. Row. At any stage when the ball is in play, there shall exist as between any two or more players a precedence which is referred to as the row which shall be considered to extend ahead of any player who has established himself on it and in the direction in which such player is riding. The right of way is the right to play the ball and determines who has the priority over it. So when we think about the row, we think on who has the right or preference to play that ball. I insist on this point, row, priority, preference. And to describe it, it is the path that leads the horse that has the row. Here we see a player in black hitting the ball. We see the line of the ball in yellow and the row in green. It is the continuation of the course that the horse carries. Here we see white and we see in green the course led by his horse. That's the row. The row will not always coincide with the line of the ball. Let's see. Here the line of the ball shows in yellow and the course led by the horse with priority in green. That's the row. And here a last case for the row and its trajectory. 32b. Right of way. Row. Entitles a player to proceed down it freely and without danger to hit the ball on his offside unless he is subjected to a legitimate right off or stick hooking or is meeting two players on the exact lob as in rule 33c. If he places himself to take it on the near side and thereby in any way endangers another player who would otherwise have been able to make or attempt to make a legitimate play, he must keep clear of this other player so that this other player can make or attempt to make that legitimate play. Secondly, let me explain what happens once the row is determined. The priority on the play is set and the rider with the row can freely move and hit the ball safely. But he can get ridden off the line of the ball, or his mallet can get hooked by an opponent. In the first case, his right is lost if two players are taken into the lob, with the original player carrying the ball forward on his offside and forehand. Because if he's trying to hit near side and an opposing player closes on him, the player will commit a foul. In this important paragraph explaining the row, we define what the game of polo is about. Once having determined who has a priority over a play, and we will see this further along with the next rules, that player has the right to play freely without danger, provided he is playing on his offside, that there aren't two players coming to meet him on the line of the ball, or that he is neither ridden off or his mallet is hooked. Here we see a player in red with a right to play, properly being ridden off, or taken, as it is commonly said, by a player in white. In this case, the target with the right to play gets hooked. 
And here the player in black does not have the row because he's coming in taken by another player in the line of the ball. Now we will talk about the near side forehand. Here the row is with the player in green, but when hitting near side into a blue player, he commits a foul. Foul by green. Here we see white in row. When choosing to hit near side, he loses a row and commits a foul. And here we see the white player with the row getting lovely ridden off by blue. In this scene, the white player is sitting near side while taken, in no way infringing a rule. The player in black carries the ball when another one in white approaches. Choosing to hit near side forehand, he loses row and commits a foul. 32B. Right of way. Row. Is taken to be approximately 5 feet wide measured from the ball to player's near side leg. And now, in third place, let me say that opponents right in front of the man on the row must vacate a space of 5 feet from the ball of their opponent's rear legs. Approximately 2 horses distance. If the row is a right to play, to move freely, the opponents cannot interfere with the player's space ahead. They can only stand to the size, as in this case. But if they do get in front, they must be at least two horses away. In this case, there are no two horses distance. Then it's a foul. 32C. Lob and row. The lob is the reference from which a player must judge if he is or is not entitled to the row. The row may or may not be identical to the lob and will depend on the particular situation covered in the rules below. Although with the lob we can determine who has a row, row and lob may or may not coincide. We will see this on following examples. Not always having priority to the ball means being on the line of the ball. In this first case, it's a coincidence that the player in red is on the line of the ball, so lob and row match. But in this other case, we see the line of the ball in yellow and the row in green. They do not match. We will see later who has a row, how having the priority is determined. We see here how the lob in yellow and row in green do not coincide. 32C. Lob and row. The row will depend on direction, angle to the lob and speed and distance relative to other players. The row will usually belong to the player traveling in the same direction as the ball, who has established himself quickest on or at the closest angle to the lob. It will not necessarily belong to the player who last hit the ball. The row will depend on the lob, the direction of travel, the angle, the speed, and the distance. The row usually belongs to a player traveling on the same direction as the ball. Keep in mind that being the last to hit the ball does not mean having the row. The row depends first on the line of the ball or lob, the most important rule on polo field. Consider this case. We have the lob in yellow and the row in green. The line of the ball sets the row and we see the cases clearly showing the line and the row. It also depends on the direction of travel that the ball has, as in this case, where the direction is from left to right. The row is then dependent on an angle relative to the line of the ball. The line of the ball, the direction at which it travels, the angle to the line are all subject to the distance and speed that the play carries. I mean that everything is allowed if there is enough space and speed and there is no foul. I insist on this, being enough distance from the ball that we not be a foul. In these cases, we might forget the line, the direction and the angle. Let's remember that line, direction and angle are all subject to distance and speed and will determine the row, i.e. having a priority. In this case, a player in black hits the ball, but the row is with a white player, and as the player in black plays on the far side, he commits a foul. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. 
See you in the next video of our series. And why not? On the polar field.